CNN says these messages were initially obtained by the House Select Committee. That's the committee tasked with investigating January 6th. And these messages reported to be from Lee to Mark Meadows span months. And they appear to support challenging the election results before taking a shift closer to January 6th. I reached out to Senator Lee's office for an interview about the text messages, but they said he wasn't available for an interview. They did provide this statement saying the text messages tell the same story Senator Lee told from the floor of the Senate the day he voted to certify the election results of each and every state in the nation. They tell the story of a U.S. Senator fulfilling his duty to Utah and the American people by following the Constitution. Lee's office then directed me to the full text of the remarks Lee made on January 6th regarding the counting of electoral votes. At the time I prepared my remarks for today, uh, it seems like a lifetime ago. Lee's office shared this video of his remarks and the text, which they said explained things, quote, clearly in his own words. CNN posted texts they say were obtained by the House Select Committee between Lee to then Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. In one text, Lee says he, as well as a number of undersigned legislators and others, offer our unequivocal support for you to exhaust every legal and constitutional remedy at your disposal to restore Americans' faith in our elections. This fight is about the fundamental fairness and integrity of our election system. The nation is depending upon your continued resolve. Stay strong and keep fighting, Mr. President. By December 8th, the text from Lita Meadows reads, if a very small handful of states were to have their legislatures appoint alternative slates of delegates, there could be a path. To which Meadows said, I am working on that as of yesterday. By January 3rd, the text from Lee appeared to shift, saying to Meadows, I know only that this will end badly for the president unless we have the Constitution on our side. And unless these states submit new slates of Trump electors pursuant to state law, we do not. In statements made from Lee on January 6th regarding the counting of votes, he said, while it is true that legitimate concerns have been raised with regard to how some of the key battleground states conducted their presidential elections. This is not the end of the story. He says he didn't initially declare a position when other legislators stated their plans to raise objections because I didn't yet have one. Lee said he met with lawyers on both sides, spoke with state government officials and more. Ultimately, Lee ended his remarks by saying legislators have the authority to prescribe rules surrounding the time, place and manner for elections for senators and representatives, but no corresponding authority for presidential elections. None whatsoever. It doesn't exist. Our job is to convene, to open the ballots, and to count them. That's it. Senator Lee did ultimately vote to certify the election results. Live in Salt Lake City, Haley Crumble home, KUTV 2 News.